very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is the last speaking so it's the weekend my friends and it's time to make a quick review about our forex signals for the past week as you can see thankfully we were able to finish all of our days in a good profit maybe except for 14th may was somehow a break even however look at the other days uh, 12 may actually we finished with a good profit pound in zd has hit the take profit number three with 120 pips of profit and then 13th may all of the signals have reached at least take profit number one even friday was actually really good and therefore we will ab we were able to finish the week in approximately 600 pips of profit thankfully the members are really happy and pleased for this experience after they have joined the extreme trader premium forex signals group we can see these messages and by the way these are just the selected messages there are actually tons of them but we just selected these to show for you patience matters a lot thanks again this guy here he have made 80 dollars profit in just one day these are the messages as you can see guys all of them are very happy and thankful for uh, this experience of extreme trader forex signals group uh, this guy here darling you are a star it's amazing how you know what you are doing again with you and uh, another amazing day big respect and indeed big respect for you Angela thank you for these amazing and great signals and thank you for making the members in the group very happy for this experience so in the end if you wish to join extreme trader premium forex signals group please contact Angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's start right now the weekly analysis and as usual we will start with the euro usd uh, if we look at the daily candles for the euro usd we can notice something that the pair has been ranging for quite long time but in general this ranging movement is actually going in the uh, at the bottom so it's actually in a bearish moment, uh, momentum so all in all i believe that the uh, euro usd is actually gonna continue this bearish momentum and it's going to continue falling especially after seeing this strong rejection at that resistance and right here so we are having here what seems like a double top and therefore i believe that the pair is actually going to continue falling more down all the way until it hit that support level right here that being said let's now go to the four hour chart and in my opinion uh, if we draw here also a resistance trend line as well we can notice that the pair is moving in that uh, uh, channel and therefore most likely uh, the euro usd is going to continue rising a little bit to hit that resistance we are already having here a resistance number one and the pair most likely after hitting that support level as you can see this support uh, has been respected and it kept its position as a support and therefore I believe that the pair after reversing from that support again to create the resistance number two the pair is gonna continue falling and again it's gonna continue falling all the way at least to hit that support level right here therefore uh, let me draw for you something actually uh, that is your entry right uh, this is your entry right here and we are aiming actually almost 191 pips of profit for the euro usd and actually uh, those who are following my signals they know that i don't like these signals that last for a really long time therefore i have raised my take profit level to be at the bottom of this support level right here just to be safe so we can aim about 121 pips uh, hopefully they are gonna be in profit so the euro usd is for the sell at the level 1.08492 and the take profit level is going to be 1.0 sorry 1.07274 now allow me to tell you something about the stop loss now for the stop loss i don't want you to set any stop loss for this trade to be honest with you i just want to be sure that we are having right here the zone of the resistance and if we see any bullish breakout candle breaking out from that zone here please close the trade with the loss only if you see the candle has actually closed 
as a bullish breakout candle don't just close the trade if you just see the candle actually reaching that level I don't want you to do that what I'm explaining here is that is a resistance zone and if you see any bullish breakout candle that actually breaks out of it and closes outside of the breakout uh, of the resistance zone as a breakout candle then please close this trade with the loss that is the only condition where we can actually close the trade with the loss because the price action is very important it is telling us that the trade uh, definitely gonna be lost and the pair most likely gonna continue rising however honestly speaking I don't see this is happening the euro USD uh, judging from this momentum and this uh, ranging way the pair is heading down I don't see it going up at all unless there was something unexpected to happen some news that might suddenly affect the dollar that is different story however this is your signal for the euro USD and hopefully it's gonna work let's move right now to the pound USD uh, the pound USD actually is a similar situation we can see that we are we finally have these double tops and therefore I believe that the pair is gonna continue falling all the way until it hit that support level right here however we are not going to select that take profit of course because it's so much far and we don't want to keep the trade running for so much long time therefore that's gonna be the take profit level for selling the pound USD right on this support level now allow me to explain to you the reason why we are going to start shorting the pound USD after it made the bounce and hit this previous support level so looking here at the left we can see this long uh, pin bar here we are having here a pin bar that long pin bar with the long tail indicates a strength in the level of the support that means that the market has finally uh, or the, the market was finally able to break out of that support after a long time that support was occurred on 4th April and that is long time my friends we are talking about more than a month uh, since that level was uh, strong enough and then the, the market finally was able to break out of it now definitely the next behavior that the market will do is it's gonna retest that strong level and then from that point most likely judging from this pattern of the double tops we believe that the market is actually gonna continue falling all the way at least to reach that support level right here therefore the signal to start shorting the pound USD is gonna be for the sell at 1.21643 one, sorry again I'm making mistakes actually typing these numbers 21643 right and the tech profit level is gonna be approximately uh, 150 pips of profit uh, 1.242 again uh, for this trade guys please that is your resistance zone again the same thing with the euro USD if you see any bullish breakout candle actually breaks out of this level and closes as a breakout candle please close the trade with the loss again I don't see this is happening the pair is actually moving down uh, the momentum is actually very strong so therefore I really don't see the euro US, uh, the pound USD will be able to rise up uh, or break out of that previous support level let's right now move to the AUD USD again same thing with the AUD USD we can notice the pattern we are having here double tops and I'm going to rely on them and since we are having right here a support number one and here a support number three sorry number two uh, we can see that the market right now is creating a support number three and I believe it is possible that the AUD USD is gonna rise a little bit more up to complete the pattern let me show you that I'm sure some people will disagree with me we can see here a pattern of head and shoulders seems like it's gonna uh, start to continue therefore I believe that the pair is gonna continue rising to hit that resistance level right here and then the pair most likely is gonna continue the fall until it hit that previous support level right here therefore let me just be sure how many pips is that 180 pips of course uh, I don't want to keep it running that time for a long time therefore the tech profit is gonna be on 122 pips hopefully in good profit so 
uh, AUD USD is for the short at 0.64646. That's a special number you have, guys. And for the take profit level, it's going to be on 0 0.63385. And for the resistance zone that we can decide that this trade gonna be closed in loss. Let's move to the one hour chart. Right here. No, cannot be right here. Let me move to the four hour chart again and decide. No, it's too short. Wait a minute, guys. We need to be more realistic. Yeah, that's definitely more realistic. If we see any bullish breakout candle out of that resistance, then close this trade with the loss again hopefully it's not gonna happen and we're gonna make some good profit out of this trade let's move right now to the usd cad so the usd cad actually uh, the momentum is going up if we notice something guys we can see that the pair has actually uh, moved up like that and therefore i really don't think uh, the usd cad is gonna fall down we can see that we are having so many support level our strong support levels has been respected recently and therefore I believe the USD CAD is gonna continue rising all the way until it hit that resistance level right here therefore I'm going to send actually the signal to start let me just move to the one hour chart definitely correct yes that is very correct so I believe that the USD CAD is actually gonna make a small reversal at this resistance level so it's going to continue falling like that until it hit the support number one. And then from that point, we can start buying the, U, uh, the USD CAD and keep the trade running until it hit that resistance level right here. So uh, the USD CAD signal for this week is going to be for the buy at the level 1.40609. Oh, hold on guys I suddenly dropped the line that's not good uh, 40609 perfect and our take profit level uh, I don't want to keep it long time I'm just gonna give a short signal just to hit that resistance level don't keep the trade running uh, longer than that and actually 110 pips of profit should be really fine so take profit level is gonna be 1.417 Two, seven hopefully we are gonna get them all let's move right now to the usd gpy for the usd gpy it's a very similar story as you can see the trend is actually going up like that and like that perfect so most likely the euro uh, sorry the usd gpy is actually gonna continue rising more uh, after it hit that strong key support level right there and we can see that the very same level of the support has been respected and the pair has already created here a support number one and now we are waiting after the reversal of the resistance for the pair to continue falling more down hitting that previous support level and continue rising all the way up until it hit that previous resistance level right there now of course we need to start buying the USD GPY at this level that is your signal for the buy at 106.746 uh, let me just tell you something that we can set the zone of the support right here if you see a bearish breakout candle uh, closes below that support level please close the trade with the loss and for that let me just delete these lines they might confuse you actually like that that's better and for the take profit level i'm gonna select that resistance because i don't like to keep it running for a long time 103 pips of profit should be fine so your take profit is gonna be 107.783 so that's your signal for the usd gpy hopefully it will work Moving right now to the USD CHF. Now on daily candles, what we can notice here guys, is we're having right here a key support level. All right. Now we can see that this support level kept its position as a support. That's for, that's for checking only. So that has been checked. 
meaning the market most likely is going to continue rising more up especially seeing that the trend line if we draw a trend line like that we can see that the market is actually continue the rise that being said let's go to the four hour chart and we can see that we are having right here a very strong support level and here we can see that the market has reversed at that resistance so currently the price is stuck between resistance and the support I believe that after the, re the reversal the market is going to continue falling all the way down until it hit this key support level and then from that point we can start buying the USD CHF and we can keep the trade running until it hit that strong resistance level right here therefore that's your signal for the euro uh, sorry for the USD CHF and right here is the support zone so if you see any uh, candle actually closes as a bearish breakout candle guys please don't don't confuse this that is not a stop loss this number right here it's not a stop loss I don't want anyone to con uh, um, to accuse me for saying that this is a stop loss no I'm telling you that this is your zone and if you see any bearish breakout candle closes below that level then close that red with the loss don't set this as a stop loss level please all right so that is your buy option right here at the level 0 0.96806 and the take profit level is gonna be 0 0.97856 hopefully we're gonna get uh, these 104 pips and hopefully gonna be good profit for everyone let's now finally go to the gold uh, by the way as you can see I have already analyzed uh, these pairs before recording that's why you are seeing these lines I have already analyzed uh, the gold and uh, therefore let me just make it short for you uh, what we can see right here is we're having a key resistance level this is a key resistance level and we can see that this level has been respected recently therefore I believe that the gold is actually gonna make a small reversal here like a pullback now actually the moment the movement of the gold is somehow mysterious because the gold is right now moving based on the news about the COVID-19 and how it is actually affected the economic in the US therefore I just really want to give a short signal or actually a short term signal for the gold therefore let me just move to the one hour chart and as you can see my friends that is your resistance number one and from my point of view I believe that the gold after hitting that support level is gonna continue rising to hit that resistance level again to create a resistance number two then from that point we can start shorting the gold and please keep your trade running only until it hit that previous support level now what's gonna happen after hitting that support is something we still don't know about it because we need to see the price action as I said the gold is very sensitive for the news and for the dollar situation therefore it is different uh, different analysis from the other pairs all I'm asking you is wait for the gold to create the resistance number two then place your sell order and keep it running only until it hit that previous support and we are not talking about a few pips we are talking about 191 pips hopefully gonna be in profit so for the gold sell at 1748.10 and you can keep your trade running until it hit the take profit level at 1728.86 now for the closing the trade and loss let me just set for you guys that this is the zone and again if you see any bullish breakout candle actually closed as a bullish breakout candle above that resistance level please close this trade with the loss immediately don't risk uh, gold can actually wipe your account easily if you are not using a proper uh, lot size compared to your account size so here is your signal for the gold hopefully it's gonna work and hopefully we will make good profit out of it and in the end really I wish it will be a very good and profitable week for everyone and in the end guys I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.